All right, I'm going to record this again. Channel 96 News, October 2020 edition. First things first, Taylor Swift has given permission for her music to be used in a political advertisement for the first time. Next up, Kim Kardashian's Halloween costume blew Carol Baskins away. Carol tells us after seeing Kim dress up like her, she just can't live up to her own image anymore. The World Cup. For all the excitement around the latest young batch of US MNT prospects, a quick look at their potential can't help but make fans dream a little. There are still question marks over who will be the main man up front to score the goals that lead them into the 2022 World Cup. Football, technology, and sports is a beautiful thing, but sometimes even the greatest inventions can go wrong. This happened over the weekend in a soccer game in Scotland when an AI-controlled camera got confused and thought a lineman's bald head was the ball. American football, a champion in Germany, now defensive back Daniel Dokel Phil Potty has traveled all the way from Europe to Texas. Yes, that's right. Dokel has made his journey to San Antonio and is looking to join the NFL. Fortnite. Democratic candidates Joe Biden and Camille Harris are going virtual with their election day pitch, targeting Fortnite players who may be voting for the first time. Foe, say goodbye to Halloween scarers for last night with a warm and confronting, confronting bowl of foe. Ramen, this fun contest celebrating the iconic noodle soup's 50th anniversary in the States is still going on until the end of the month, but there's a Seattle chef who's already proved that she definitely deserves the champ title. Soba, despite the pandemic, chef Darren Moore seems to have a lot in his flavor these days. This new restaurant, Shibaya Eatery, sits in the heart of Adams Morgan, a neighborhood with lots of potential customers who can walk for a taste of his cook. Cupcake, meet Layla Warren, a 15-year-old teen baker and entrepreneur from Michigan who is making boss moves with the launch of her new cupcake shop called Layla's Cool Pops. Unemployment. President Donald Trump wants to pass a new stimulus package, one which could renew extra unemployment benefits for tens of millions of Americans. Immediately after the November 3rd election, the president said Friday, Austin has seen a spike in violent crime and officer retirements after the city council voted over the summer to immediately slash $20 million from the police department budget, becoming the first major Texas city to do so. Supreme Court, way back in February, before this pandemic, the lockdowns and the epic lines at polling places election officials in the battleground state of Michigan got a letter. It said voter registration in 19 counties was abnormally high, indicating they weren't maintaining their roles. Boston. Federal agencies warned that cyber criminals are unleashing a wave of data scrambling extortion attempts against the U.S. healthcare system designed to lock up hospital information systems, which could hurt patient care just as nationwide cases of COVID-19 are spiking. Race. Detroit. Every day feels like a raw wound for Amari Barksdale. His sister, Lakina Barksdale, died of COVID-19 in late March in Detroit, and since then, so many, so have more than 12, 228,000 Americans. Many of them were black Americans whose communities were dis portionated, devastated by the virus. Which, in other words, we are still not being treated fair. Like, us as America needs to be treated completely fair. Weather, a tropical storm is moving westward through the Caribbean. It will arrive with strong winds and heavy rain near Central America by Tuesday. Several insufficient hurricanes have formed in the first 10 days of November. One thing we can wish for the previous slide is I wish everybody was treated equal, though. Like, seriously. I don't know why they just don't get along. Seriously. Anyways, next up, coronavirus. As President Donald Trump fights his way through the final days of the presidential campaign, denying the pandemic by lashing out at doctors, disputing science, and slashing the press for highlighting rising coronavirus case courts.
counts. I keep messing that up. The long-running rift between the White House and Dr. Anthony Fossey burst into the open Saturday night. News, a long-feed sur feared surge in COVID-19 cases and underway in the U.S. and aboard, leading to a new round of virus-related rules in some areas. Restrictions that have quickly met pushback. Music. Google Play Music died last week. We've known this was coming for some time, and nothing ever happens across the entire Google user base all at once. But many Google customers are reporting a total loss of life for Google's music. For the writer of this article, the store is gone. Speakers no longer work. The app is dead, and the website is dead. It's all gone. Sports. It's Halloween, which means by the sports calendar, it's the last Saturday without Pac-12 football. Well, actually, it was Halloween. It's not Halloween anymore. Doesn't mean it's an empty day, but it means next Saturday will feature much more action. Horror movies. Halloween is officially over, and several TV networks were celebrating the spooky day with marathons and special movies. So if you ended up watching them, good. If you didn't, you can watch it on Netflix or Hulu or any movie streaming ser service. Corn Maze, Lost Bearings, Corn Maze at Bear Paw Beach and Adventure Island, 10,067 Mile Road is a new 8-acre corn maze open Friday through Sa Sunday, October 30th to November 1st. Pumpkin Patch, Pittsburgh, plenty of four state families came out to the woods of the farm's pumpkin patch for some Halloween fun in Pittsburgh on Saturday. And that is the end of Channel 96 News and also part... Why did I do that? And also the end of part one of four of the season opener of Season Y. And I will see you guys soon for part two.